Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. The Republican Bond, a gathering of billionaires. Are we imagining we need a foreign power to steal our democracy, betray historic American ideals, dishonor our First Amendment, government of, by, and for the people, and treaty commitments to the original Americans? Do we still imagine our spoken word or signatures as proof of and bond to character, the very tie that binds all together, instead of leaking pipelines, lead laden water, and sweltering income gap? Imagine our joy to the world and peace on earth season, defined by a greedy Grinch person of the year, complaining it's not man of the year. Imagine a holiday season more depressed by an election than a great recession. Then imagine feeling forgotten, suicidal, or apathetic, meandering through a trumped America. Imagine the hate camouflaged in calculations by extremists like Bridget Gabriel, David Duke, and Chris Jankowski, playing ring around the roses with our thinking for ourselves, blinded to the true reality of their numbers game. Yes, a nation so conceived as all-inclusive, founded on an exceptionally good idea, producing a promising population filled with the potential for being a home of the brave and land of the free melting pot, can be duped and diminished by a comparatively small number of its own citizens, as happened in the 1930s, the Great Purge in the Soviet Union, and Germany's reaction to the Treaty of Versailles, but in 21st century America? Yes. If the silent majority respond to the fear and bigotry of the popular vote minority with a huge sigh of wait and see. Arguably, with the advent of 24-7 news, the fourth estate surrendered its responsibility to protect the public trust with timely factual updates when it traded in truth for gossip and David Brinkley, Chet Huntley, and Walter Cronkite for Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Glenn Beck, choosing instead to cater to the whims of an audience self-hypnotizing in an echo chamber of me first. It's not we the people who forgot the Rust Belt coal miners or manufacturing jobs. It's the towering billionaires who, having bled dry industries that were the core of middle American labor, have moved on to their next assault, controlling all three branches of government. Spoiler alert, we don't need a Russian puppet in the White House any more than we needed a Russian puppeteer to steal our presidential election. At least since Tuesday, November 5th, 1968, our elections have been stolen by candidates lying to get elected, voters lying to themselves by believing the false promises of political slogans like bringing back the coal industry or take the oil, by politicized computer technology, paperless voting machines, Supreme Court, and those divorced from our electoral process by choice, by voter ID laws or gerrymandering. Listen, fake news is a hoax lying in wait to profit politically and financially from the vulnerable and gullible. Those who feed on fake are doomed to be underinformed and failing to logically think things through become victims of doubling down on all we like sheep affirmations, absent asking, seeking, and knocking for the truth that sets us free. Without faith in ourselves as a people, we invite treachery to prevail and erode our democratic republic, bearing the promises of Lady Liberty to an ever-increasing clenched corporate fist. Now, having elected the very Goliaths who abandoned them, imagine Americans, who, imagining themselves forgotten, slowly realizing they forgot to use their vote, as David used his sling. We either embrace peace on earth or fake news. United we stand or deny constitutional equality to women while mass incarcerating minorities. The real persons of the gear are the peaceful majority, the hidden figures who stand united in civility and, like Katherine Johnson and John Glenn, 
bring a renewed thirst for knowledge, evolving ideas, and refreshed individuality to the table of humanity, inviting all to share in the feast of our diverse genius. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.